What I want to do is, is um, it's not me. I, I, I just want to challenge something within you. Some of y'all that have done some research and that are on this channel watching this right now, you've heard of, uh, you've probably seen that picture right there everywhere. Because they all show it in all their little videos and stuff. Uh, of what they do. Or what they did. Yada, yada, yada. But I mean, you're, you're talking about it's like the with the brain that I'm that 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 I had prior to this uh, transformation, literally. Like I would look at that train with those. Literally, it looks like a hundred, if not more, more children than anything. In my head, it's like. To where I'm trying to get toward the average person that can't think for nothing would be like, yeah, that's odd. Wouldn't you think there'd only be like five or six, you know? But most people don't know about that book and about what ha happened. That what we know of, what we know of, we're going to say this number. 225,000 orphans. Placed out is what they call them. Where'd that come from? Where'd that, where, where'd any of, where'd that all come from? Now, they ain't give you all kinds of excuses. And if you ain't seen this book, you can pause it and then zoom in on that. Wanted, Homes for Children. These children are of various ages and, and both sexes. Well, that's kind of racist and not inclusive now. Having been thrown friendless upon the world, they come under the, the of the Children's Aid Society of New York, which is the Illuminati. They are well disciplined, having come from various orphanages. It's, it's just enough said. Okay? But I just, you listen. Then... So we have, they're coming to America, getting placed out through New York and all this. And then the Vatican sends 5,000 priests in the guise of Jesus, but it's really Saturn, Saturnic, Saturnian, Saturn. Now, let's probably... This is where you've got to learn how to read the surface. Because what we're going to do is, is I'm going to show you how this seriously is just, you can, if your mind is open, you got to read a lot of stuff and listen to a lot of lectures. But how this, we're going to talk about how this is this. And this is where I live. Right? This is my town. And this is what I'm willing to bet. Down here in the south, I'm pretty sure you can go to any Walgreens. Funny. Or CVS probably too. And there's other stores, but it's in those. And they're sitting right there to be bought. And what is this? Oh, that tells you about everything around here. And it's like, okay, well, why what we were raised around here. Why wasn't we given all this? That's, that's our whole point, but that's not even it. But what we're showing you is, is how during a reset, okay, we're looking at a reset. Okay, so these, we'll say one million. <laughs> you need to think about one million just orphans. Here comes the trains tracks because they're reinventing everything they're going to drop them off here and there and then here comes the towns being reset and the towns have to have the priest so we're going to say this number right here was probably at least 50,000 50,000 priests of Saturn 
This is in the middle of the 1800s. This was before your Civil War and stuff. But the whole thing is this. Um, these, these people right here are going to be no different than the picture that you're going to find in your local Walgreens. It's going to probably have the same damn format, just that name where you live. Yeah. And this was a couple of years ago, so they might not, you might have to look. They might not have it out no more. Who knows? They might. But I'm, and do you, do you, do you see what I mean? Do you think these and orphans had any clue of what was once you're raised and you're given some, and you're a child and given lies and then they're not orphanages they're breeding centers for to program children Because there's more of the orphans that did that that was part of this reset than there was the criminals and the slaves. Because this this is what we are now. This is what we are now. And if the Civil War was literally, I can take my five wood out and hit out of my backyard. Well, I'd have to chip up over some trees first. You get the gist of it. I can hit the fucking Civil War with a golf ball from my backyard, the battlefield, the grounds that they fought on. Okay, this, that, this. Where's any black people at in here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where are they at? They're not in here. They're not in here. Look, you can just see the posture. What it, it doesn't matter. This reset, all it's just like now. All they knew was what they were given. And that's it. And here they have all this. Yeah, it's real, but it's still fake. You know what I'm saying? It's still fake. I mean, they just, this is how easy it is. This is how easy it is. It doesn't matter. You just, there's a fucking line right there. Here's a side and here's a side. But at the top, it's controlled by one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But both sides don't know that. But they fucking do. That's why everybody gets me on one of the sides. Go, you crazy, man. You crazy. Well, they have in common. TV and dumb shit. Dummies. Dummies. And I, I just, I can't go into detail because this is the, the reset that I'm talking about. They, look, we're going to teach them how to read newspapers. Here comes radio. Listen, it's going to tell you what to do and the weather and all that shit. What is that? That's time on a wall. We can tell time by shadow. No, we can't, Matt. We're making us forget time comes from the sun and the moon, the hour and the minute. And it's what it is. And here you are. And then we could throw it in now to the other dummies. Just like we here's Thanksgiving. Everybody's gonna be getting ready for pictures, ain't they? Now, I could just look at the nobody displays their real emotions within a picture. It's fake. And people will say, Well, of course. <laughs> You don't understand what the fuck I'm saying and what, what you need to understand. If this is what I can do, this is where I'm at now. I can look at pictures and see the aura around an individual. And uh, the seer shit, it's crazy because it's fucking real. And I didn't get into this. It was just like, I don't want to drink. Bam, you, you got nine years against the whole medical industry and everything else, cannabis and hemp. And now your senses and faculties are back because you do go outside, Matt, and you look up like you're supposed to do. 
You breathe the air in and fill your lungs with it because it's electric. And now your senses and faculties are on fire. And everybody else's is dulled because they've been inside this whole time. And then, and then that's the two different spirits. But I mean, there's colors that you, it's insane. You, we have these tablets that destroy the retina that created attraction to the fake colors and then it creates a, a deity within our subconscious that you don't fucking know anything about called Ariman. Ariman is very structured, very professional. But he's very obedient. Compliant is our mind. And this world consciousness is what part of this was in the beginning to create to what it is now. Because these orphans were put into these boarding schools, which are now your schools. You have boarding schools school board. You're a school board member. Some of y'all big penises on the block, ain't you? I'm a school board president. It comes from a system of slavery. <laughs> I'm sorry. But once again, you're ignorant as shit because you come from this. This is what you come from. You were shipped in real quick. Like here. It doesn't matter where you go. You were shipped in. Let me show you something right here. We've done the videos on what they've done and what they've covered up. Um, it's just funny. It's like, yeah, this we would know every bit of this, every bit of it, all of it, every bit of it, but they didn't show us in school. They didn't show us anything. And I mean, it's just, and I know people have bloodlines around here, but it's, it was all set up. And it's just, we're called Goy. That's what we are. It's just, I can't find this road. Look, dude, that's the mud. That's flooding it with mud. However, they did it, all that. There ain't even no fucking trees around or nothing. And they'll tell you that they uh, they'll tell you that uh, that there's so much gunfire. Look, wood. It's so fuck. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. It is not fucking hard to go look at stone structure sticking out of the ground just like a dog dick's hanging out. Wide open. But our discernment on um, being able to look at something is not there because we, we're, it's destroyed generationally, bloodlines. Well, you want to be in a girl? You want to be an astronaut? You want to be a You want to You want to sell chocolate? You want to high heels? Way to go? Yeah, yeah. Let's go work with me. And whatever the fuck it is that they put out there, this reset of human beings, which are animals, goyim, is just... Whatever it is. They've covered up. It's too big for you. I can tell you what they've done. Very simple. They listen. The War of the Worlds has a lot of realness to it. Not uh, too uh, far into how real, but there's a lot of realness to it. And um, something lost. We lost. Supposedly in 1879 is when all this shit came to, to a head in November of 1879. Some very dark shit was going on. Battle for some shit on the other side that has to do with spirits and beings and stuff that y'all don't believe in. 
you don't fucking believe in it. Because your whole existence has been a lie. You can't comprehend it. These sons of bitches raised individuals to be mediums and to be able to talk to the dead. And they control souls. You're going to say, you're crazy. And it nine years against the whole fucking thing. The whole thing. Like I said, everything, it's all, the answers, listen, the answers come from within and they will come to you. They will come to you in your subconscious. That's why the Vatican has claimed dominion on the air because the spirit is in the air. The Holy Spirit is in the air. Inspiration means breathing, which is the Holy Spirit, which is you in your soul too. So, let's just say hypothetically, because they do, these mediums, the power that they have now of creating this Ariman spirit. Ariman is on the other side. Ariman is something nobody's ever heard of. Ariman's food is the pharmaceutical industry. Lord, boy, I can't conquer death. It's insane, man. I, I don't want to do it no more because, I mean, as far as talking about it, because it's fucking, it is so far out there that the, it's not really. It ain't. It's so easy to see how they did it, but like, anybody could fucking do it. But then again, it's like, wow. I've said this in videos. Their own people that they raise do not have what's going on with me. They give them all the books in the world, give them all the knowledge, give them all the secret mysteries, and they still can't fucking unlock what's coming through me through the people they raise to try to unlock what's coming through me and to control that power too. And lo and behold, it popped up out of their foolproof hospitals and all that other bullshit. <coughs> uh, yeah. So I'd be fucking worried too. I'd be like, what the fuck? Because uh, pondering and thinking is uh, the greatest thing ever. They don't want you thinking. You're supposed to be able to read some shit and then go think about it for months. Not read some shit. Hey, let's go party. Maybe I just forgotten. You might read something or remember. No, you're, you think about it. You think about it. You think about it. And you ponder over it. And you cut all the distractions out. And then the answers come. And then they're right there. Crystal clear. It still baffles me, though, because it's just... You know, I've hinted around in certain videos, but I mean, you know, just to some of y'all that are actually paying attention, that know some shit. I, I, I see their whole system of uh, blood rituals, blood worship. The, our blood is what they're, is what they're harvesting. Blood. And you just, you'll never understand that shit. The, the blood, the soul is in the blood. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. That's in scripture. Like I said, they control the souls. They control what's in your head. They control what's in there as you go to the other side. That's fucking beyond sorcery. They give your. You need to think about a fucking gas tank. Okay? And filling that gas tank up. Well, the mine's gonna be a gas tank too. But only it don't have a damn tank. 
Every day you just keep filling that shit up with more shit. And then it becomes so much that it paralyzes itself. And then it becomes none. And then you become just a fucking robot. Hey, hey, how you doing? He's crazy. Let me go sit back down. And, and, and that's the reset orphan into towns, into... Sad, because when you challenge somebody's genealogy to their bloodline, oh no, we're first up here. Sure you were. And you can go on with it, but you're not. Because I know people and they've gotten mad and it's just like, well, fuck you too. You know what I'm saying? People wish. They're, they've always dreamed about shit like this coming to them and it didn't. And without showing humility like you should, people around me show pride. And they show ignorance is what the fuck they do because it's just like me. I have heavy hitters around me that nobody sees. And they, I look up to them, but they they saw something in me. And some, they get out of the way. Just like any elder, when you teach and, and try, I mean, you, it ain't even about teaching, it's just sitting around brainstorming everything, but once you see something blossom, you get the fuck out of the way and let it shine. Not in this world. These motherfucking bloodlines, these criminals and orphans and slaves, which we are, very controlled, and giving all this beat the shit out of, well, we're less than them, we're better than them, and that is by design. You know, and that's the mindset. It's easy. You can see how they, like these mediums, Probably brainstormed. Let's let's let I, it just came to me in the air what they do. Let's see the brain. Okay. Uh. Well, it has to do with the brain, and it has to do with the blood, and it has to do with currency, which is your blood. But it also has to do with the liquid in your brain which the moon controls the fluids in your anatomy. This is 90% fluids. 90% of your existence comes through your eyes. You are a battery. So what we're gonna do is charge that battery with a TV and radio and get the blood boiling on emotions of shows and everything. Cause that's it, that's all we're gonna give them. So for generations, this is what we're gonna do. We'll say for three to five generations, we will have this to where we need it. To right now. Oh yeah. Now, let's get a heat, let's get all our shit together and bring in our medium so we can fucking cast spells on them and hexes. And this is some small example because the same ones is creating this design this is the holly stick. Is that how you spell holly? Yeah, because holy. So, holly stick. This come from the holly tree. Holly stick, holly tree. So it's holly wood. That's what this is. So the movies, so in the old days, like if we can get some uh, gems or something, put them under full moons, get some energy on it built up, more Saturn and Saturnic energy, and get some rope from something, and get some jewels, something, whatever. And then what you're gonna do is take it to a wizard and get it blessed or stamped for approval. See, I'm pulling heavy shit out on y'all. Y'all have no idea what's coming through me. You know, uh, I'm being for real. Look how bad that I'm really, really... Ugh. It's because I know what this is. So what these... Uh, we're going to say druids, because that's what they all say. Even though anybody that has any kind of magnetic, magical art will use these symbols, not just druids. Because symbols are magnetic. They're in all the fruits and plants and life and vegetables. So that means they're getting a magnetic field from somewhere. So how can we steal that magnetic energy? Well, we'll create the symbols and then use shit like this. So they would stand in hexes, hexagons, hexagrams, pentagrams, pentagons. 
and they would cast spells using the holly wood from the holly tree. And see it now, that's why TV, these are fucking, these are real deal seers, sorcerers, and shit like that. And now that whole industry, industry of entertainment, entering the mind and containing the mind, attachment, attach the mind, advertisement, advertise the mind, government, control the mind. Now you full blown dummy and don't even know it. You're a walking sorcery slave. Yeah. I'm gonna make t shirts that says that. Stop being a walking sorcery slave. Yeah. And then put a TV on it. And they'll be like, and then we need to put the cube, because the cube is Saturn. We we can deck the shit out. We can create some money to where I can like literally sit down. You know how pissed I get? Because I mean, it's like with my alcoholic background, um, I hate to be labeling people, but it's always the ones who are shittier than me having more success with any... You don't understand what I'm saying. The energy that comes through me I work like ten people at once. You understand, and not just that. It's it's every, but the, all this time that I have to spend just to stay afloat, and that's with everybody. That's the trick, you know. Because, dude, I'm talking about going to some of these structures they've buried and covered up, and um, not doing seances. I hate that, but there's energy. But you have to introduce the right elements. That is God. God made all this, these, uh, everything that has life. You know, elephants, elements, the gems and stuff don't have life form like these because you're looking at the plants and humans and animals and then you're getting into astral, ether, physical bodies and all that. So we don't know any fucking thing about. And that's where it is. You know, so, <laughs> but I mean, it's just like how it is. They want to break everybody. That's a huge, huge thing, too. You know, they just, they want to break your, your conscience in which they have. It's the, it's a nasty cycle. It is disgusting what these fucking people have created. And I'm not saying that about you, but it's, it's nasty because you were never meant to have this technology at all. This is all an invention of me and you. Every fucking thing that you see is an invention of the human anatomy and especially the brain. Everything in your house. All of it. Every bit of it. Especially the motors and shit. So, Alright, I love you.